Hey, how's it going everyone? Uh, welcome back, and it's late winter. Uh, Mother Nature's been nice enough to let us have a, a few decent days here, so I have about uh, 60 degrees these next three days, and so I'm gonna take advantage of that uh, and try to get a head start on some spring projects. And uh, what we're gonna tackle first is the next project on the patio. And you can see here, we have some boxes. Those boxes hopefully will turn into a pergola that's going to go right here. Let's see what happens. Okay, so uh, the next project that we're going to tackle uh, for the outside area here um, is to get the pergola put up and this is the stopping point we got to last year uh, we got the patio in fire ring the walls done everything uh, got to a good stopping point um, and so we poured these footings uh, for the pergola uh, last year and hopefully they haven't moved through the uh, the winter cycle here but we'll find out. And so the goal is uh, to put this pergola, and hopefully if I measured everything correctly, uh, the post for that pergola is gonna land uh, perfectly on these, these uh, support footings. So the pergola we went with is by Backyard Discovery. And the reason we went with this is that it's a steel pergola. And you can get it in white, black, or the color we went with, um, which is this, this brown color. Um, and so when you order this, this is the 14 by 12 uh, foot pergola. See there, 14 by 12, or 14 by 10, sorry, uh, foot pergola. And when it's delivered it comes in these these four boxes and they look in pretty good shape actually um, I've had these sitting around now for probably a month um, they've been really hard to find uh, so when I saw it in stock I went ahead and ordered it and uh, they look good and so on the outside of the box you'll just want to check this there's four boxes the outside is labeled with what's in them I went ahead and opened up the first box because uh, I had the instructions and all your um, all your fasteners and everything's in there uh, so everything's packed quite well um, there's everything um, is packed tightly um, the outside of the box is taped well and the inside of the box has uh, some nice strapping on it to keep everything in place during shipment it does not look like um, I'm gonna expect any damage. It looks like everything was packed in there well. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the rest of the boxes, um, try and get some things sorted out, get an idea of what parts are in what, what boxes, and we'll get started. So we're going to get the first couple posts put together in this first joist and ran into my first uh, oops, first problem. And so um, show you, so hopefully I save you some frustration on this, but um, just align line these holes up on this joist with the four holes here in the post. And then you're going to use this little um, screw put it in through there, which lines up with these holes, and then you screw this in with uh, the provided Allen wrench. The problem is, this is about just the same height as the depth of this joist. And so, if you put this in there, just a little bit off, this screw, this, this uh, bolt, 
falls inside this joist. And by this point, you have the whole joist screwed together. And if you're really unlucky like me, uh, you're also going to drop your Allen wrench in there. So I now have one of these and one of these inside of this joist. And the only way to get it out is to completely undo it, dump it out, and put it back together. So, so far, uh, really liking it. It looks like a quality product, but uh, yeah, a little bit frustrating. See how, how the rest of it goes. Hot diggity dog, she's done. I love it when a plan works out. The footings actually line up with the posts. The instructions are actually correct on the measurements. Uh, it always worries me when I uh, put footings in without actually buying the product, but this pergola has been out of stock for six months and so I didn't really have a choice. Um, so just hope that it's correct and it was correct. So, um, go over a few things that I learned along the way. So hopefully it helps your install go a little bit smoother, or maybe a little bit quicker. Um, the first thing is, uh, be aware, uh, that the finish does scratch. This is a good product. I'm very happy with it. Um, it's a solid structure. Uh, but the finish, <laughs> you do have to be careful. Um, I unintentionally uh, added some character to a few pieces uh, along the way uh, because I put it together here out on the patio, so where I had the most space. But obviously, uh, the the concrete pavers against the paint. It's not a good mix. So a little touch-up paint take care of that. But be careful. It does scratch, but it is is durable, but not not against. Uh, concrete um, and also I do recommend do not put this together like on your grass or somewhere that you will easily not be able to find a drop bolt or a washer or something else because over here out of the hundreds and hundreds of parts this is literally all the spare parts you get a couple washers Couple, a couple of the larger bolts. I have one spare uh, small bolt, and I have two spare of the larger bolts for the uh, the roof, the rafters. Um, 
And so, yeah, you do not get a lot of spare parts. So if you do this on the grass, uh, have a magnet handy because if these drop in your grass, you may not find them and there are not a lot of extras. And so if you do drop something, you probably do need to find it. So just be aware of that. They do not give you a lot of spare parts. Um, so I use the built app uh, on my phone. I did not use the manual instructions that came with it. I used my phone. Um, I thought that worked out great. It's easy to put together anyway, but the, the app just gives it a little bit more of an interactive experience easier to follow than just the static images on the paper so i do recommend you use that um but as far as the the build goes this probably took me oh five six hours maybe and i did it largely by myself if you watch back on the video there's a couple points where i needed uh the family to come come out and help and that was really when you got the posts all kind of put together and attached um these two sections there and then this section here it came time to stand those up and obviously when you do that you can't do that by yourself and so um and that's where i deviated from the instructions uh, a little bit because the instructions have you put this unit with this post this joist and this post up as a unit and then they have you attach this joist to it which runs to nothing at that point because there's because those are not down there and then they have you touching, attaching this post as well. But then these posts are not there yet. So these two joists just run to nothing and you can't support them. Um, and that seemed kind of stupid to me, actually. So I did it differently. If you watch back in the video, um, we got the family involved. The kids came out and they were responsible for hoard, holding these two posts up. Um, and making sure they did not fall over and then the wife and I tackled this one joist here got this bolted on and then sat this end of it onto an a-frame ladder um, to support it and with the kids holding those joists and my wife holding that one I was able to get on a ladder and align this joist and this post um, up and be able to get those bolts in under those covers and then once we had that in then these posts and those posts were all secured with this joist which really for the most part secured the the structure enough to where holding the post really wasn't as critical and then we were able able to pretty easily lift this remaining joist up and screw it in there and then screw it in there and at that point, the structure is pretty secure. So that's how I did it. It worked fine. I think it works better than how the instructions have you do it, but um, you know, not an expert. I'm sure there's something I'm missing there, but um, it worked for me. Um, otherwise, other um, uh, things to note that the washers that come with it, you get two washers and almost every screw that you put in is going to have two washers um, you have a metal washer and then under it you always have this plastic sealant washer and just note that the metal washer is painted on one side and it's raw metal on the other and if you get in a hurry you'll put a couple of these the wrong side up and you always want the paint to be showing up because obviously that's most likely going to rust and not going to look good. Um, I had to go back and actually take a couple out and flip them around the right way. Um, so just be aware of that. Take your time doing that. Um, otherwise, the you know the rafters, uh, everything went on pretty easily. Everything lined up. Every hole on this entire uh, structure lined up as it should. Um, which is quite amazing. I think it's a. I think it is a, a pretty good quality product. Um, so yeah, not too much to complain about. Went together pretty smoothly. Um, just another note: when you put these uh, splices in for these joists, you want to make sure this the seam. I don't know if you can even see this. You want to make sure the seam is uh, as narrow or as tight as possible. There's a couple where I just could not get it tight. Uh, you can see this one. There's a, 
there's a pretty good gap in there. I don't know, eighth of an inch. Um, I just couldn't get it tighter. Uh, just where the holes lined up, I could not move these closer in that splice. Um, it did not end up being an issue, um, other than one could say maybe that's a visual uh, aesthetic issue, but outside of that, there's nothing um, wrong with it. Um, it's structurally fine. All the holes lined up, nothing, no real downside. So outside of that, um, I think that's about it on the structure itself. The one thing I'll show as well um, is it does come with this power station. And so the thought with this is that you mount it to one of your posts. And if you mount it to one of your posts, then inside of it, you get uh, three power outlets and then three USB plugs. And so you have a fold down um, platform here, holder that you put an iPad on. You could you know, charge it while it's sitting here. Um, we will probably go ahead and install this. I'm not sure. I'm not sure which uh, one we'll install it on. Um, but it'll probably be somewhere over here. And our, our plan is to run the lights in the pergola to it. And we will use this as the on and off switch uh, to turn the lights on and off easily. Um, the only downside is, is that it does have a plug. So you're going to have to zip tie probably the, the wire to your post and sneak it out um, under some mulch or something uh, so it looks decent. Um, but... Yeah, it's pretty nice. It's a nice little added bonus. All right, so I think I think that's it. Um, another project done. It was nice to get a few, you know, 65, 69 degree days here in late February, early March. Um, kind of a nice little bonus. So I took advantage of it. Got out here, got a, got a project done. Um, my next video, uh, I'm going to be going ahead and showing how I'm going to mount uh, the pergola into these concrete footings and the process to do that. So uh, if you're interested in that, make sure you check that out. Otherwise, if you have any questions on uh, the Backyard Discoveries uh, pergola, steel pergola, uh, go ahead and comment down below. I'll try to answer as many questions as I can. Um, otherwise, check back soon. Thanks, everyone.